Tile roofs have been known to be one of the more challenging roof types to work on when installing solar mounting systems. Tile roofs vary in so many different ways and in so many different conditions that it can be hard to find one single mount to accomplish all the needs for solar installers in various regions of the world. The Thor series includes K2 Systems tried and true hooks, the Flat Tile Hook and Tile Hook 3S. Now K2 Systems is adding the Flat Tile Hook X, the Universal Standard Hook 9 inch base, and the Universal Standard Hook plus 2 5.5 inch base. Although each hook has its own unique features, they all install very similarly. First, you need to remove the tile from the mounting location and clean out any debris. If you're installing a two-piece hook, attach the two pieces together. With the Universal Standard Hook Plus 2, you'll need to loosely screw the hook to the base in one of the three mounting locations. If you're using the Tile Hook 3S, simply slide the top into your desired base level. Locate the rafter and using the hook as a guide, mark your drill points and place the hook so it clears the tile drip edge. Using a 7 seconds drill bit, drill pilot holes in the marked drill points. Fill the pilot holes with compatible roofing sealant. With a 13mm socket, install the provided lag screws. If you're installing an Everflash replacement tile flashing, push back the center tab to allow the tile hook to pass through. The W tile and S tile flashing have the tab pre-cut. If you're installing flat tile, you'll have to mark and cut your tab using tin snips. Using roofing bars, prop up the interlocking tiles to allow installation of the replacement tile flashing. Slide the flashing into place, then lower the surrounding tiles to allow the flashing to sit properly. You also have the option to nail the flashing in place using the nail hole provided at the top of the flashing. If you're putting the original tile back in, mark the location of the tile hook on the tile. Create a safe tile cutting station with proper safety precautions and equipment. Notch the tile with a tile grinder or a tuck point diamond blade. Be sure the tile is cut enough so that weather guards sit in their original position. Some jurisdictions may require water or ventilation to prevent silica dust exposure. Always wear eye protection and a safety mask. Now you can install the cross rail. Insert the T-bolt through the slot in the hook and into the side channel of the cross rail. Turn the T-bolt clockwise, ensuring that the mark at the end of the shaft is vertical, indicating proper alignment. Attach the serrated hex nut and tighten to 26 foot-pounds. That's how you install the K2 Systems tile hooks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.